Okay, let's check out how Mark can save up on your washing with his one pot lasagna. <laughs> and Gracie is with us as well. How are you, Mark? You good? Yeah, really good, really good. Yeah, we're going to save up on the washing and we're going to save in time as well. We're not building a lasagna like the traditional way in a in a, a tray. Right. We're going to cook it all in one mm, big nice. pot. So we're going to make the sauce, we're going to cook the pasta in it, and then we're going to put lots of cheese through it. It's going to be fantastic. Is Gracie at the dishwashing age yet? Uh, not yet. That's not why yet. we do a lot of one pot wonders. <laughs> <laughs> but she is at the helping True. stage. She in loves training, it. cool. Well, great to have you here, Gracie. Of course, it is school holidays, so make sure you stick around and find out how to make that one pot lasagna. We are here in the Beko kitchen, and we are here to make Mark's one pot lasagna. And Gracie's joining us today at school holidays. Uh, great to have you here, Gracie. You can help us out, which is good, okay? Um, no doubt she helps you out of the kitchen. Oh, she, she loves she here. loves in the, about being in the kitchen and cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, Keeps an good. eye on me. <laughs> I bet she does. It takes somebody, Mark, that's for sure. Uh, so one pot, we're gonna do all in one pot. Yeah, that's so, really handy. So all in one pot, so we've got, um, so we'll break down a real uh, lasagna, yeah. what you do. So we've got a meat uh, sauce, like a meat and tomato sauce, like a bolognese. We've got a white creamy sauce. We've got cheese in there. Uh, and then we've got pasta, normally in sheets, and we layer it all together. Right. So we've got all the same ingredients, yes. but we're going to cook it all in one pot, so we're going to start building up the sauce first, and we're going to put Brilliant. all the components in, but it's going to be slightly different. Okay, cool, because usually a lasagna is made in one dish, isn't yeah. it? But yeah. you need all these different ingredient components to make it, so this well, here you just well, put it's it all layered. in one. Right, so uh, onions going first, so we're going to sweat them down. A little okay. bit of salt and pepper, just in a little bit of oil, medium heat. We'll get some garlic in there. You know, Italian cookery, onions and, onions and garlic go in everything. Yeah, they do. So that's really good. So that is yeah. your base, and that's going to give Oops, us lots of flavour. <laughs> Sorry about that. What, oh, what, what are I you know? doing? I don't know what I'm doing. You need to keep an eye on Mike, Gracie. Yeah, I think you need to keep an eye on me, Gracie. You make sure I don't do anything wrong, OK? Right, so now and now we've got some, uh, you know, a few different ingredients in there. So we've got some um, dried oregano, yeah, which is, uh, you know, that's a classic one in the spag bowl. But then just to mix it up a little bit different because we're putting it all in one pot, a few fennel seeds as well. Okay, cool. And I think it's great. You know, you like fennel seeds, don't you, Gracie? Sometimes, yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's nice to incorporate you know a few different flavors into the uh, food. You know, if the kids come and help you cook as well, and they put it in and they smell it and then they taste it after, I think it's a little bit yeah. it's a little bit easier for them and they, you know they're involved, so they like trying these new things. That's right. A little bit of dried basil in there as well. You could use fresh. That's really good. And we got some chili flakes as well. We want to put chili flakes in. No, okay, we're not going <laughs> to yeah. put chili flakes in today. Okay. <laughs> Gracie's just like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks, Gracie. Yeah, you're lucky. Because your dad always puts chili in everything. <laughs> right, and then we've got some uh, we've got some beef mince. So we've just 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 been a couple of minutes. Yeah, you know. So we've got the flavours in there. We've softened the onions. We're going to get the beef mince in now, and then we can turn it up slightly. And we just want to start breaking the mince down, browning it up. And then we've got a little bit of red wine as well, which is going to help richen the sauce. Um, we put the wine in there, we cook it out, so there's no alcohol in there. So it's fine okay. for the kids, good, just makes it a little bit richer. But, you, you know, you can leave the wine out, you know, if you're concerned about that. Nice work. Okay, cool. Well, we'll continue to make this mince, breaking it down a bit. There's still a few more parts for you to learn about what to do as we make this one pot lasagna. But we'll come back and we'll show you how to do the rest of it straight after we catch up with Holly. We need to finish off Mark's one pot lasagna. So whereabouts are we up to? This is smelling good, by right, the way. So we've got the yeah. onions, garlic, we've mm. got all the spices in there, no chilli in this one, I'm told. <laughs> yeah. um, and we brown the mince as well, so we're into, we're into this stage, it's Looking all broken good. down. Yep, yeah. nice. It's all good. Got some tomato paste. Tomato paste. Yeah, that goes in, you can stir that through. Cool. That just gives it a nice rich tomato flavour. And then we've got a can of tomatoes as well. Okay. That goes in there. And we've got some red wine as well, so it's optional, you know, pop it in. Um, or not, doesn't matter. And a little bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, that's it. That's beautiful. Gives it a really good flavour. Yeah. Right, we want to bring that to the boil. Yep. If you've got a little bit more at time at home, you can sort of simmer this for like five, ten minutes and just increase all that flavour. But you don't need to because it's still going to keep cooking, so you still will get all these like beautiful flavours in there. So bring it to the boil. And then I'm going to add some water as well. Because if we put our pasta in here, mm -hmm. you know what happens to pasta? It expands, it's going to take on all these flavours, but it's going to dry it up. So okay. we need to compensate that. Right. So we're going to add a little bit of water in there. So that's a couple of cups of water. Bring that up to the boil. I and check the seasoning. That. Okay, cool. And here then we're going to pop the pasta in here. And that's okay. why it's a one-pot wonder. All oh, right. So we're going to shake just put in the pasta no, in. No, no, yeah. I'm going to do it all in there. And then, so the pasta's going to cook in there. As we said before, it's going to take on all that beautiful flavour. You know, obviously make sure your pasta's cooked, and then we've got the last stage, which is our 
uh, cheesy sauce layer. So we've got some mozzarella, we've got some parmesan, we're going to melt through it. It's going to make it nice and rich and creamy and stringy. And a little bit of ricotta as well, we're just going to drop in. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's nice awesome. work. So bring it up to the boil, we'll pop a lid on that and it'll cook faster and just uh, slow down mm. that sort of absorption rate. It is smelling Fantastic. really, really good. And of course, you may have noticed Gracie in the studio with us. It's, it's bring your kids to work day because it's school <laughs> yeah. holidays. Gracie, thumbs up. Is Dad a good cook? Is he a good cook at home? Thumbs up if he's a good cook. Yeah. Is he, is he better than Mum? What than about Mum? Mum? <laughs> is she all right or is she thumbs down? Oh, she's not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> she's a good cook. Yeah. Paula has trained her well. <laughs> oh, nice work. Well, great to have you in the kitchen, Gracie. You've been a fantastic help. Probably a much better help than what I've been to your dad over the years. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking fantastic. Of course, if you want the recipe, you can go to thecafe.co.nz. We'll show you what it should look like by the time you come ready to serve it up towards the end of the show. And, of course, as I said, full recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Now, well, Mark, we need to finish off this one-pot lasagna because, you know, things are looking pretty good, but it doesn't really look like a lasagna at the moment, does it? All right, it's getting there. It's, it's getting, getting there. Right, let's have a look at it. So we've yep. got the lid on. So it's been cooking. Oh, yeah, it's coming up nice. So look at that. It's starting to reduce down now. The pasta's <gasps> starting to cook. Smell good, Gracie? Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, you can hang on to the cheese for me. Right, so now we need there to add go. the, uh, Thanks, the cheese component. Okay, so we've cool. got some Parmesan cheese here. So yep. you want to sprinkle some, sprinkle some inside, Gracie? Oh, yeah. Drop the cheese. Up. You ready? OK, cool. You grab the cheese. Oh, can you do that? And we'll sprinkle some in. You get Look some in there that. for me. So this is get, the best help I've given Dad all year. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, she's much better than you. <laughs> she's great. You can put you it all more? in. You want more? Pop, let's okay, pop it cool. all in. There you go. There you go. Right, so you've got Parmesan in there. You've got mozzarella in there. Mozzarella cheese in there. So mm. just turn it down and you can see... Just with that heat, it's just stirring through. But it's thickening in that sauce, and if you just get it all in, you sort of lift it up, it becomes nice and stringy, you know? No, so I can that's see our, that. So we've got that beautiful mm. beefy tomato um, rich sauce, and then it's, yeah, I've got that nice creamy cheese now. Yum. And okay. then. Now we're talking lasagna. Thanks, Yes, yeah, so now it's lasagna. Well, sort of. Jesse's complaining. <laughs> he was, lasagna. He? Right, a little bit of ricotta now. And I'm just going to do some nice ciao, little. Ciao, ciao. You can do that. You can do the rest. So nice little spoons of that, and you can make sure it's nice and even. Okay. And then so right? the pasta is nearly Stop nearly left, cooked. Yeah. Oh, you're all right, aren't you? She's so much better than you. Yeah. <laughs> True. And you've taught her really well. I know. Around I know. A, um, a stove and stuff, so she knows all the rules oh, as well. Oh, that's it. And she, she loves it, you know, and it's great. You know, kids kids get a lot out of, um, you know, yeah. sitting on the bench and watching, uh, you know, mum and dad cook and, and really get into food. It really helps them try new ingredients. OK, you put the lid on. OK. It's going to be nice and hot. <laughs> right, there ricotta go. goes in, lid goes on, and you're about two minutes Thank away from crazy. serving. It's just going to warm that ricotta. It's mm. just going to melt into the sauce. That is nearly ready to go. And serve it in the pot as well. Brilliant. Sounds great. OK, looks amazing, smells amazing. We'll serve it up towards the end of the show. Thank you, Gracie. Mark, how is your one pot lasagna? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> they want to blow me on trumpet, but look at that. Oh. That is so good. We've got the pasta in there, we've got the cheese in there, the ricotta, the sauce. It is beautiful. Nice. And you guys can be the judge. Bring Thank it you. Over. I'm happy. It smells good. <laughs> oh, what are you doing yum. tomorrow? Right, tomorrow we're doing something completely different. Uh, we're doing fish cakes with it early.